So when I think about collaboration, I think of it as a process and I think there's several steps in them. First is uh, collaboration is with with somebody else. So you've got you've got two people and you find a common interest. And in our case, it can be clinical. There's a lot of clinical expansion. It could be somebody that's doing research and they're looking for a novel research topic. It could be we have a product and we'd like to get some feedback. Do we meet your needs? And we're looking to partner with somebody to give some of that feedback. The second thing is after you find somebody, you spend um, you spend a lot of time with them. You're more of a elephant than a hippo. You're really trying to listen and observe and see what the clinical workflow is. You're trying to hear what their concerns are. You spend a lot of time with uh, your partner because you're trying to build trust and, and make sure you understand their language. And the next key uh, phase is after we develop something, we always keep them informed. So we share what some of the feedback was, what's the next uh, iteration. And you know you're really making a, a, a big step in this journey when the conversation turns from me to we. So it's, uh, it's discussions where, yes, you heard me here and you actually implemented that, or this is an area that we have to prove on a little bit more. So it's a deep process. It takes, uh, it's not transactional, it's really relationship-based and it's spending time with uh, our clinicians, our partners, uh, to make sure we understand what their needs are, presenting concepts and getting feedback so then we can uh, create this iterative process of um, continuing to uh, evolve the product towards something that's really clinically helpful.